Okay, folks, um, Leo Bodnar hat switches. Uh, this is a fourth video uh, testing uh, various uh, aspects of my boards, um, my panel builds. And this is actually going to go on the emergency flight control panel, which I've assembled apart from this switch, and I'm just testing it to make sure it works. Now, I have had quite a few problems with this, uh, which I will go into in a minute. It's kind of a how not to guide, but it does work now, as I will demonstrate. Okay, so we've got down, up, oh, uh, well, I'm trying to do this with my thumb. There we go, you can see it works. And there's a button which I've assigned to button position number one. Okay, um, it, that's my cack handedness making it kind of do two things at once. It does actually work properly. Anyway, uh, that's the hat switch working. Now, quick list of do's and don'ts for this. One, um, when it is when it comes, it is supplied with a separate little um, six six pins um, in a plastic holder. Um, I made the mistake of attaching the wires to those first. That was a mistake and I've ended up having to unattach them and reattach them several times. Um, secondly, um, due to my poor soldering technique, I made a mess of the soldering and I've eventually kind of got it to work. Surprised I didn't fry the, uh, the board. In fact, this is probably a testament to the uh, quality of the Leo Bodnar stuff that it will survive the abuse I've given it. Um, cleaning the tip of the soldering iron was the solution and just a little bit more care and effort. And I also made the mistake of super gluing the fixings before I'd done a test fit. And as a result, the fixings are now permanently stuck to this and I've got to figure out a way of attaching this to my panel um, somehow. I don't know. Anyway, um, it works. It's good. Uh, it's a successful test. So join me on the next video where I will um, be exploring, oh, I don't know, um, rotary switches. Uh, see you next time. Bye.